Okay, my name is Pavel, and I'm the uh, owner of the PA Towing, and this is my brother. So we started the tow company about seven years ago. Yeah, in Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver. We thought about, you know, it's like, let's actually go see IWS, and that actually happened um, in February of 2022. I believe so. Yeah, yeah, February 2022. We was here. Yeah, we were here, you know, we just decided, hey, let's hop in the car, let's go meet the guys, let's go see what they're doing, and let's see if we gonna just order a new truck. And when we came here, we saw the shop, we saw the tools, we saw the people, we saw the customer experience, we saw the, um, you know, uh, how people are here, rep you know, representing their work and how they care about their customers. So we, we drove here from Vancouver, Washington, that's a seven hour drive. It's actually, when you're buying a new piece of equipment, uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not a cheap piece of equipment, but I don't care where I have to travel, if it's a 3,000 miles, if it's 473 miles that we travel, I will travel for a best customer experience. You know, it's if I'll see that the people actually care for me and they will listen to me what I want. And they're honest. And they're honest? Yeah. I will travel more distance than I have. We yeah. had a little budget when we started our tow company. You know, we actually bought a truck that was originally built by IWS, uh, but we actually bought it um, from Canada. Uh, Canada. That was in uh, Vancouver, Canada. That's where we purchased it from. We actually had to go through a little hoops to actually legally register it here in the yeah. United States and everything. So, but that was our first truck. That was a 2002 International uh, 4200 with a 19 foot bed that we started. With a 60 on it. Yeah, with the 60 diesel on it, you know. You know, some people don't like that diesel. I'm not a fan of that diesel, but yeah, you know, but hey, it started our company. And, you know, after that, we bought another truck and we bought another truck as well, you know, on a record. And I mean, we're here now to yeah. buy our, I mean, we actually already bought it. A 2024 International MV. MV with L9 on it. Cummins L9, 360 horsepower. Old, old bells and whistles, 22 foot bed, and the side puller is 29,000. So yeah. we're really happy to be here. And I think um, IWS just killed it with the new truck. Yeah, yeah, and I also I need to brought up that we uh, built own company with the scratch, so from the scratch actually. So it's not something we had it before or somebody give it to us. We just decided to help people yeah. and we need help. Um, we actually decided to open this company because um, we experienced bad um, towing experience from other tow companies when our car broke down and everything, you know. And we saw this as an, as an opportunity to actually change this in our area in Vancouver, Washington. So we treat every customer with respect and we treat their, their cars like it's our cars. Exactly. It doesn't yeah. matter what kind of car you're driving. You know, Old car, brand new car, super car, it doesn't matter. It's your car and we're responsible for it when we're traveling, we're transferred. So we, uh, we're really happy to service people out there. Uh, first of all, it's uh, very, very look sharpy, very beautiful, good, and uh, we'll be uh, brought more equipment where we don't have on the other trucks. So it's gonna be a more opportunity on the side of the road to pull it out from the ditch. If the people you know, need a winch out or something, we're not blocking the lanes. So it's for us a big opportunity to have it, to help them quick and easy, load it up and go. So get road clear. Done. Yeah. So with the new uh, end of ditch products, you know, the side puller and the, uh, you know, the toolboxes that we put on the truck and everything, you know, so we can actually carry more tools that we need on the side of the road sometimes, you know, because you don't have to actually call for another service vehicle when you got a lot of tools already in your tow truck exactly. that you need on the side of the road. So. I think overall the reliability of this new modern uh, truck, you know, and the capability uh, will open up a new opportunities for us. And to be a tow guy, you know probably how hard to get on the side of the road without any <laughs> tools where you have to have it, but you don't have it, so it will be improved, everything. I think
think it was just uh, mostly um, reliability is the number one. Yeah. Uh, we, we decided to go with the Cummins online engine and other 360 horsepower so we can, you know, if we need the power to go up the hill or something to tow, tow uh, any weight up the hill, that's what we have. The other thing is the side pull of the SP9000, I think will we'll just make a difference. Make a difference in our, in our experience because we do a lot of recoveries, you know, um, in Vancouver, Washington, and that area, you know, when it snows, it's gonna get nasty and everything. So that side pull will help us tremendously, you know, right. um, with recovering. So utilizing two winches at the same time, when you can use the main winch from the, the from the deck and also from the side puller. Yeah, most of the guys probably ordered the six seven comments. We uh, come up with the L nine, so bigger motor. Uh, because it's sometimes, you know, overheat, getting new truck, it's overheat when you're carrying uh, trucks on them or cars on them when the uh, temperature got high, it's, it's got heat on it. So yeah. you can't use the air conditioning. So in our oldest truck, we actually get the windows down on the hot days when you go, we need to go and help customer. Yeah, and put the heater fully blasted on, you know, sometimes, you know, you can't even take a customer with you. So they won't experience that heat, you know, because we're running old trucks and everything, you know, and towing something heavy up the hill, you got to keep the heat down. Otherwise, you know, you're going to lift up the head and blow the head gasket or something like that. You have to stuck down and you're going to be stuck in the road and then you have to, going to have to wrench on it all night. And the stuff. customer can wait, you know. So we decided to overbuild the truck so we can have basically a kind of a piece of peace of mind, you know. Right. We've been looking for tow trucks for uh, all the time when we started business and we looking for capability to have a nice truck to build and people who can talk to us um, and get through this uh, buying a new truck and everything and we start searching googling and it's ads popped up with the IWS series especially with the SP9000 and SP12000 and we start looking at and where you guys located we we know the all different toll builders too but we decided to you know come and visit here yeah. and at, talk at first you know we were then you know as any tow truck uh, tow truck driver or a tow truck um, business owner and everything you're always looking at the new equipment you know what are the new possibilities and everything you know uh, all of our trucks are in the you know 2000 year 2001 2000 you know but then you know We've been looking to upgrade, you know, always been looking to upgrade. Sometimes, you know, when we just started the business, it was our, out of our price range at that moment, you know. So, but, you know, we've, we've been watching the YouTube videos and everything, you know. We've been looking at the side pullers that, you know, that were made by Jordan. Uh, uh, there's other side pullers that are also on the market. But what's struck us the best is like the capability of the SP uh, line series of the side pullers and you know when we said if we're gonna order a new truck we, we need we need that to definitely need in our truck. We actually even recover vehicles on from the ditch for, with the one winch cable <laughs> on the flatbed truck. And we impressed how it works everything on the flatbed instead of bringing the wrecker and the flatbed. So we're basically using the one winch, few smash blocks, and <laughs> see what angle yeah. we can park it. But obviously, we need to block the road. So. Yeah, it's uh, there's tricks to do it. You know, I mean, with the limited tools, you have to learn your tricks how to do it. You know, but with this new truck, I think it will just improve it, make it easier, make it easier. And you know, by looking at the actual build quality and everything, you know. You guys really stand behind your product, and I don't think there will be a, even a lot of, uh, you know, warranty issues that we're going to have to deal with. We're ever going to have to deal with it just because all the equipment are at top, top notch quality. Yes, <clears throat> but you know, when we talked to Marshall, you know, he's our sales rep. Uh, you know, when we ordered this truck, he said, any issues that you have. Just, just call, me. call us before you're gonna decide who gonna be doing something. Just call us back. We want to hear it. We want a response for it, and we're gonna get and we, you right away. Yeah, and they, he said we're just we're just gonna uh, hook you up with um, with a 
people that will be here will be caring and dealing with your tow truck um you know in your area to anyone who's asked me where i build this truck who i buy them from any anyone who even worried about the, their equipment and trucks to build where decided or something they in the middle of do something uh renew equipment or something like that so everyone who is in tow business basically and our probably main customer is going to be asking where did you get this so the all the customers will know where they get that you know i think this is going to be a one of a kind truck in our area right now at in, this Vancouver, point, in Vancouver, Washington. I think this truck will represent the IWS as well in there. Um, and, you know, in, out of the doubt, I would recommend the IWS to anybody who is looking to purchase something or make an additional, you know, additional uh, equipment, make an additional equipment for their fleet, you know. So I would not hesitate calling IWS. Or if you can, the best part, if you can, you know, don't spend a uh, couple days on vacation somewhere where you're going. Spend vacation in Mountain Home, Idaho, and come over here and talk to the people and actually look at the um, at the shop and actually look at the equipment uh, that uh, this um, this place holds and actually go visit in the ditch factory that, that, that that's on here. Yeah, how they build, how they do it, and they build it here and weld it here and they paint it here. It's here. Or you, like it's we, pretty done. Like I said, when we came here the first time, oh, we were just a little skeptical still who we're gonna order our truck from. But when we came here to just do a little trip and a little vacation time, you know, and we saw what's being done at IWS and in the ditch projects right next door, and that same day we ordered a new truck. Yeah, just. Don't hesitate, just give them a call right now.